Hey DIYers, Jared with Alarm Grid here. Today we're going to talk about how you would display the Mac ID on the Honeywell wireless alarm systems. Um, the Mac ID and the CRC codes are very, very important to the alarm system, um, especially when you're going to be setting it up with our monitoring services. Now the Mac ID and the CRC, they're both used in order to be able to associate that alarm system with the Alarm at 360 account that needs to be created in order to set it up for monitoring services. Um, now, if you had central station monitoring service or if you just had Total Connect 2.0, um, either way, the MAC ID and the CRC codes will need to be used in order to be able to set those up. Um, now, as I said, the MAC and CRC codes are very important. And when you are uh, being set up for monitoring services, you need to be able to find uh, the MAC ID and the CRC codes to be able to provide it for your alarm monitoring uh, services or the alarm company um, so that they can take those codes associated with the account, create the account and do everything that they need to do to be able to help you get set up for monitoring. Now when you're providing the MAC ID and the CRC codes, um, you are going to get those whenever you do have an IP communicator installed in the system. So if you had a Lynx touch panel, uh, the Lynx touch panels, unfortunately they don't come with a Wi-Fi module installed or pre-installed. Um, they normally come without that. You do have to get the communicator separately. Now you could technically set up the system with a cellular communicator, but you also will need to install that as well for the Link Touch panels. Um, so if you do have either the Wi-Fi module or the cellular module installed and you go to display the Mac ID and the CRC, um, then at that point, if you do have those installed, then you will be able to get those. But if you don't have them installed, then there is going to be no Mac and CRC that you can retrieve for your company or for the, for the alarm monitoring company. So you definitely want to keep in mind and check that if you do have a, a communicator installed for your Lynx touch panel. Now for the Honeywell Lyric system, um, it does have the Wi-Fi built into it. it has, there's nothing in regards to Wi-Fi module needs to be installed or anything like that. So um, the Honeywell Lyric automatically has a Mac and CRC code that you can check and, and be able to provide to your company. Um, if you had a cellular communicator as well, you don't actually have to worry about the Mac and CRC for the communicator. As long as you provide the Mac and CRC for the Lyric itself, then they'll be able to set that up. So if you wanted to find uh, the Mac ID, then you'll just follow these simple steps. Uh, we're gonna be starting on the Honeywell Lyric first. So what you'll do is on the main screen, you're gonna press security. Uh, you're gonna go to tools, and then you're gonna type in the installer code. Uh, the default installer code is 4112. So press program. You're gonna go into com diagnostics, hit the down arrow, and then you should see communication ID numbers in this menu. So once you tap on that, you'll see the Mac address, and uh, the CRC code, and also as I, you know, as I did mention earlier, the Honeywell Lyric has the built-in Wi-Fi module, so that is why this is showing. So once you've um, gotten, or once you found the MAC ID and the CRC for the Honeywell Lyric system, just uh, hit the back arrow to, to it takes you back all the way to the main screen. So now we're gonna move over to the um, Honeywell Lynx touch panel so that you can see how to find the MAC ID. So what you'll do is just tap security, uh, or on the main screen, you're gonna tap security. Then you're gonna tap more. You're gonna go to tools. And this is where you're gonna type in the installer code again. So the default installer code is 4112. You're gonna press program, com diagnostics, at the down arrow, and then go to communication ID numbers as well. <clears throat> and then you will be able to uh, see the Mac and CRC as well. So um, as you can see in this one, we have the Wi-Fi uh, Mac ID. We also have the um, Mac uh, CRC for the Wi-Fi module. And then we also do have a cellular module as well. <clears throat> um, so you can see the Mac ID for the cellular. You can see the CRC for the cellular. And my apologies, um, this is actually the Mac ID for the Wi-Fi module. Um, don't, don't look down here. So. Basically, um, once you've confirmed that you do have the Mac ID and the CRC codes for your Honeywell wireless alarm system, uh, you can just hit the back arrow so it takes you back to the main screen. Now for the Lynx touch panel, I, I did forget to mention, my apologies, um, you do get this window when you're going, when you're exiting out of the main menu compared to the Lyric, which it doesn't give you that option. So this little window, you're always going to press yes. Um, allow an installer to re-enter programming, always press yes. If you press no, it's you're going to be locked out of programming and you're going to have to backdoor to try to get back into it. So to avoid that, just press yes. 
then hit the back arrow, takes you back to the main screen. And that is how you find the Mac ID on your Honeywell wireless alarm system. If you have any questions about the Honeywell systems or alarm systems in general, please contact us at support at alarmgrid.com or go to our website, alarmgrid.com. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. If you want notifications of future videos, please click the bell icon. This is Jared with Alarm Grid. Give yourself a great day.